Lamar Whitehead, also known as the Bling Bishop, has been sentenced to nine years in federal prison. It's a long time. Uh, dubbed the Bling Bishop Whitehead, was convicted for swindling a parishioner's mother out of her life savings, $85,000, and committing other financial scams. Whitehead's victims, some financially ruined, uh, shared their heartbreaking stories. Pauline Anderson, whose $85,000 in retirement savings vanished into Whitehead's designer wardrobe and luxury car payments, tearfully recounted sleepless nights and emotional turmoil. Her son had trusted Whitehead with the money, hoping to buy and renovate a home. But instead, it went straight into the Bling Bishop's pocket. Despite his plea for forgiveness, citing his Christian faith and claims of suffering from multiple mental illnesses, the court was resolute. Whitehead's fall from grace was punctuated by Mayor Eric Adams' reaction, who, despite their close relationship, simply wished him well. That's how that relationship ends. Um, and there you have it, uh, another chapter in the saga of the Bling Bishop, a story of glitter and gold turned cold and gray. You Anyone want to wish him the mom, absolute best? You gave your mom's $85,000 to the pastor to renovate a house, and that was all she had? What were you doing? Or maybe it was her house. You can go to jail, too. It was, it was her house. Look, everybody can't be Opal and get a house. Why'd you give, why are you giving away your mom's life savings to the pastor? Because he was going to help renovate the house. Oh, you're a damn fool. Big mama house. When no, I first got this story, I was thinking to myself, I don't really understand what the pastor did that was wrong here. Like, I don't no. get it. You still don't like, get it? Like, he, was, he said he's going to renovate this house. Like, okay, I just didn't get, I didn't get a chance to do I it. Like, I'm going to do it. I just didn't get a chance to. Like, <laughs> I, I don't understand how they make these charges stick. Hating. They're busy. You're Hating busy. on him. I, I guess I don't get to that point where, like, what goes wrong in your brain where somebody's standing up there with with Rolls Royce and all this stuff and is asking you for more money and you're going to fork it over. Like, why would? Why are you doing that? Well, because God told them to. No, God didn't tell you that. You got to be stupid. <laughs> 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 um, do you wish him the best behind bars? Like, do we think he's going to change? Do you think he's going to change? change? Yeah, change no, behind bars. He's stuck yeah. like this, but I do wish him the best, though. Okay, he gonna get out of it. They gonna get out of it. Huh. I, I, the man's pretty entertaining, so I do hope he gets out of the it. Church is gonna pay for that appeal. <laughs> he gonna be back out. I hope no. so, and I hope, he, and I hope when he comes out, he's he's decked out in the best. How can you he hope has for that? Offer. Huh? How can you hope? How can you hope for that? Because he keep ripping it off, y'all stop being stupid. Because like the man didn't do nothing wrong. It's not like he robbed the bank. He robbed dummies. <laughs> <laughs> he prayed on those who do. He not prayed have for. Just, he prayed for that <laughs> money and he got it. That's what he did. I was saying earlier. The basis of your religion is you is that you can go to God for yourself. And so why didn't you just pray and say, God, am I supposed to give this man? My $85,000. No, maybe they don't, don't have, maybe they don't have discernment, and that's something they should be praying. Don't got the oil. Like I well, give it to him. He's a better steward of the money. Then. Right. Like he, God listens to him. God don't listen to you, so give him the money. He knows okay. what to do with it. You didn't need the house renovated. 